Hello, Cyril White, head coach and one of the owners here at Country Spirit CrossFit. Uh, in our last video on the Osgood Schlater disease, uh, we said that we were going to cover some stretching techniques to help avoid that disease. And really, the stretching and mobility techniques we're going to show in this video uh, are not just to prevent that disease, but to prevent numerous injuries and to rehab from numerous injuries. So um, I am uh, gratefully accompanied here by three star volleyball players. Players, one of them being my daughter Nina who was in the last video and uh, they're going to show us how to go about stretching properly. First stretches we're going to do our leg stretches using these bands. Uh, you don't need a band to do these stretches but it helps out. So what you girls are going to do and this is Peyton, Nina and Jordan by the way. What you're going to do is wrap this band around your right leg. Make sure you wrap it around completely one time. And you should do these, the, yeah, the hardest part on this stretch is wrapping the band around your leg. You should do these stretches for at least a minute for each body part, okay? Uh, if you have a stopwatch on your phone or something, or your coach has a stopwatch, um, you can do that for a minute, okay? So one time around your foot, you're gonna lay down on, on your back and raise that leg up with pulling back on the band and slam it down, keep it straight, slam it down on the ground, raise it up higher each time, slam it down on the ground three times. The last time, you're gonna pull it up, pull it up, and stretch it as far as you can. You can also do these stretches with partners, okay? So without the band, a partner very carefully could be assisting you to go a little farther, communicating with the athlete, asking them, how does this feel? Very important. If you don't have a partner, that's what the band is for. If you don't have a band, you can do a lot of these stretches without the band. It uh, doesn't work as well, but you can do them. Okay, good. Second one, you're gonna bring that band out to the side, pull up on it with your right hand, stretching your groin, keeping that other leg straight. Good. Third one, you're gonna bring your knee up, your left knee, and bring that right leg or right foot on the left knee, pull in, pulling in with your left hand and pushing away with your right hand. Good, Jordan. Good, Peyton. That's gonna, that's gonna stretch your hip flexors, okay? Next one, you're gonna bring that leg, leg straight down, you're gonna bring it across your body, and you're gonna keep your opposite shoulder on the ground and look the opposite direction. So you're looking to the right, pulling up on that band as much as you can with your left hand. Another thing we can do with this is the quadriceps, so stay on your side there. Grab that band with your right hand, pull it up, behind your head, keeping your legs straight. You wanna keep, keep your knees together this way, but you can pull that band as much as you want that way to stretch that quad, but keeping your knees together. You don't want your knee up here. Right, good, Peyton. Okay, good, relax. Another great quad stretch. I usually skip that one because that one isn't as good as this one, in my opinion. This is called the couch stretch. This one alleviates so many problems, lower back problems. Uh, we've had athletes that have lower back problems, have pulled backs, and this literally one stretch has helped them. You can do this, the reason it's called a couch stretch is you can do it against your couch at home. So you want a pad, obviously if you have Osgood Schlater's disease and have that point of a bone on your knee, this one probably be a little too painful, so the banded one's gonna be better, but if you don't, you wanna put your knee and get your knee as close to that wall as you can. Put the top of your foot against that wall and then lift the other leg to 90 degrees and lift your chest up as high as you can. Again, you wanna do these for at least a minute on each side. Obviously, the girls will do the other leg uh, if they had time, uh, when they had time. You wanna stretch, even if you have an injury on one side, you wanna always stretch both sides, no matter what to keep everything balanced and prevent the same injury from happening on the other side. Then you would switch that, obviously. Then there's the calf stretch against the wall. You know, why don't you demo this one? Get a couple of plates 
space or anything that's going to get you off the ground a little bit, doesn't matter what it is, come on into a wall and put the tip of your, uh, the balls of your feet on that plate and then uh, lift one leg up and then um, put all your weight down, keep your legs straight, stretching that calf. That's a great one for stretching the Achilles, the calf, and your hamstring. You feel that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Obviously, she do both sides. You can get anything that's going to raise you off the ground and stretch. You should always do this after running, for sure. Yeah, get both sides. Good. Then we have our mob mobility. Excuse me, those were stretches. We have our mobility tools, a lot of people call them torture tools, um, our rollers. Uh, we want to also, if we have any super sore spots, we want to roll those out with a lot of the, these tools. My calves are super tight. So uh, that causes things like uh, plantar fasciitis, the, uh, where your heel gets super sore. Mine does. So you want to get a ball. Uh, we have these fancy supernova balls which are great that you can use, but if you don't have one of those, softball is great. Work that in to your calf, any sore or areas or where you can feel a knot, you wanna work that ball in there and break that up, break up that scar tissue that's causing that tightness. Get that down. It's also good to you take your shoes off, roll that around on the bottom of your heel, bottom of your foot. Uh, it's great for preventing that plantar fasciitis uh, or um, fixing it. Okay, so work that around any spots. You can do these against the wall and your shoulders. Also, we have a video on, on shoulder mobility that, that you can watch that covers that. Uh, another good one, especially for young athletes, um, and that Osgood Schlater's disease or shin splints is coming down. And uh, this is called the uh, plantar flexion uh, stretch and stretching those shins out. This is good for uh, healing and preventing shin splints. The more flexible you are, uh, the more space you have between your uh, feet and you can sit down a little lower. If you're not that flexible yet, you can sit on your heels, stretch that out for a couple minutes a day. All right, thanks girls. And uh, train hard and stay safe.